So we often, all too often, in my humble opinion, we talk about self-care, and it is an important part to living a happy life. But my next guest says that in order to have deeper understanding of our worth, we need self-compassion too. Counselor, coach, and speaker Tanisha Shedden is joining me with four ways to practice it. Welcome to Studio 5, Tanisha. Hi, thank you. It's great to have you, great to meet you, and I am all in, curious and intrigued about this idea of self-compassion. How yeah. does it differ from self-care? Yeah, self-care is things that we do to meet our needs. Mm -hmm. And self-compassion differs from that because it's our deep inner understanding of our own worth, and it's the actions that we take to carry that out. It's how we speak to ourselves and how we even allow ourselves to be treated by others. So self-compassion is a whole process of internalizing our innate and divine traits and knowing that like we're okay and we're worth it. Um, it's it's a deeper thing. Self-care, sure, you can paint your nails and take a bubble bath, but that is not going to help you know who you are, what your purpose is, and have that sense of meaning and purpose in your life. Do you find some women are able to grasp onto this idea of self-compassion a little easier than others? Sometimes I look at women and I think it's baked in you. Like, it yeah. is baked in you. What is that? Yeah, I think it can be really hard because people are talk to a certain way, right? Especially in childhood, like things are said that are not appropriate or maybe you don't have a good relationship maybe with your dad or with your mom. Maybe she talked poorly about herself and you internalize that. And so I think for some women, it's a lot easier because they were raised to nurture and grow mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you can be whatever you they want. They were kind of primed and poised mm -hmm. to grab onto this idea. Yeah, and other women aren't necessarily primed and poised. A lot of women are talked down to or told this is your place and you can't be outside of that. And mm -hmm. so I think a lot of women struggle with that because they're like, well, how do I have meaning and purpose outside of the normal things that make you a woman, that's, you know? That's good perspective. I like how you said that. There are four ways we can practice self-compassion. You say, first, we need to start with recognition and acceptance of our own emotions, how we're feeling. Yes, so recognizing them, like it's, some people just autopilot all day and they don't recognize what they're feeling. So it's taking that pause to recognize them and to accept them without judgment. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of time we like judge ourselves, oh, I shouldn't feel that way. Like I shouldn't be sad, I should, I'm just being a baby. Like we don't accept them without judgment mm -hmm. and other people aren't gonna do that for us. Other people are going to at times be judgmental about our emotions or say that we shouldn't feel a certain way. But we need to do that work ourselves and say, okay, this is okay, this is what I'm mm -hmm. feeling. Mm -hmm. You can validate it and all of that. It's interesting because there's such a push right now in parenting, I feel, such, a, such, such attention being paid to helping your children vocalize their own emotions and their own feelings. So mm -hmm. I admire the challenge to kind of push that pause in your own day or in your own life yeah. and acknowledge and vocalize your feelings as well. You're encouraging women to dig deeper and explore why we might be experiencing some of those emotions. That's the next step to it, right? Yes. Yeah, so the next step is to like explore, investigate that. Yeah, like why am I feeling that way? Yeah, what happened? Why am I feeling this way? Is it something from way back in the past that I need to address so that I don't keep having this negative feeling mm -hmm. about this normal thing? Mm -hmm. And at that point, you say we want to establish a pattern of recognizing, accepting, investigating. That's kind of, I like that mm -hmm. pattern, I like that formula. It's called RAIN. It Rain. has a name. Say it again. Recognize, accept, investigate, nurture. And nurture. Rain. Mm -hmm. Bring us to the nurture piece. What does that look like? So nurturing is the part where maybe self-care would come in. You are going to give yourself the space to feel those emotions, to relax, and to just like build yourself up. You're gonna nurture yourself. And okay. you know, sometimes other people aren't doing that. So you're gonna do that for yourself before you go out and just give it all away. All right. Next, you're introducing the idea of visualization, which I most commonly associate this with like, I'm going to visualize myself doing something. Is this mm -hmm. more about visualizing how I might feel? Mm -hmm. It's more about visualizing yourself being in a state of comfort, happiness, and peace. Okay. And so like basketball players visualize themselves accomplishing the goal, right? We can visualize ourselves being held in safety, especially when nobody's doing that. Maybe we're fighting with our spouse, maybe our children are crazy, and so we just need some comfort from ourselves, or you can visualize you can visualize God comforting you or whatever you believe in comforting you and holding you and you holding yourself. Um, it's, a, it's a source of self-comfort mm -hmm. if you can't get that from someone mm -hmm. else. I like that you use the word comfort. I also appreciate you pulled in the word peace. Is that the payoff here, Tanisha? Like I put in the work, mm -hmm. a woman puts in the work,
be more self-compassionate walking through these these steps, what will she experience or what should she be able to, to feel and look forward to? She's going to be able to accomplish, yeah, the feeling of peace and also the feeling of like, I can mess up and I can be okay. Mm -hmm. I can be perfect and I can be okay. And I can be accepted the way that I am, even though I'm trying to grow, or maybe you're not trying to grow, but being okay with you the way you are because mm -hmm. you're going to be with you 24 7 from the time you're born till the mm -hmm. time you die do you really want to be with the bad person that's mean <laughs> to you no let's be our own advocate and our own friend you explained it so well tanisha thank you so much where can people hear more from you thank you um you can hear more from me at my website www.foundproject.org or instagram and tiktok i'm at found by tanisha okay we'll meet you there thank you <laughs> thank you appreciate it